Nathan here at the Fast Lane Car, and this is a brand spanking new Volkswagen GTI. It is one of the best hot hatches ever, and it's about $37,000. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry about that, Nathan. I just wanted to uh, let you know I was here. Yeah. You know what's cool? I've got the exact same car that you have, but get this, $9,000 cheaper. $9,000 cheaper for a longer, bigger car with a trunk. We need to find out why this is so much more expensive than that. And that's coming up right now, but first, we should do a drag race. Hell yeah. Have you guys ever wanted to find out what was wrong with your car before you took it to the mechanic? Well, with the Carly app for iPhones and Android phones, you can. Simply download the Carly app, hook your phone up to Carly's OBD2 wireless adapter, plug it into your vehicle's OBD port, and bam, you'll get a thorough diagnostic on your vehicle's health. Use the Carly app to find out exactly what needs fixing, or use it to run a systems check on a used vehicle you're buying for peace of mind. All right, here's what it discovered about our BMW. It says we're good to go. You can also play around and find hidden settings on your car, and for example, reprogram your LED headlights to shine brighter, or your keyless remote to close all your windows, and much more. The Carly app is available for a broad range of premium cars, especially BMW, Mini, Volkswagen, Audi, Toyota, and Lexus. Check out the link in the description below to find out more. Pricing starts at $79 for the adapter and the app. So click on the link below or go to mycarly.com to figure out and learn more about what MyCarly can reveal about your vehicle. All right, guys, so as you probably can tell, I am in the Jetta, uh, and Nathan is in the GTI. This one weighs a little bit more, about 150 pounds more, so Nathan certainly has the advantage there. Okay, sport mode, traction control on for the first run. Sunglasses on. <laughs> Wasn't my best start ever, but I think I nosed ahead of you about 10 feet. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, you know, traction control kicked in. I'd love to try it without traction control. You want to do it again without traction control? Yeah, let's see what happens. But that's about right. You know, this is heavier. Well, let's try it again without traction control. You want to talk about Farfit Nuvin? This has got it. Do you know what that means? It doesn't mean anything. You might as well say Pokenschlegel. But this does have a 228 horsepower, 2 liter turbocharged engine that puts out 258 pound feet of torque. It's mated to a 6 speed manual transmission. Mwah! And you can also get a 7 speed DSG as an option. You know, Nathan, I've got the exact same power plant, the exact same transmission for $9,000 less. Now, if these two models were apples to apples, it would be about $7,000 less. The biggest difference, as far as I can tell, Nathan, is that I've got a stick, whereas you have a strut. That's $9,000 worth of strut, baby. You too can come out here and have fun with Volkswagens. GTI, GLI, doesn't matter. Come out to IMI Motorsports, where we've got 120 acres of outdoor motocross playground and this cool track. Check them out by clicking on the link below. All right, Nathan, we're in the GLI going around the track. And, you know, we leave the performance driving to Paul. Well, <laughs> he's a professional driver, we're idiots. Yeah, Major yeah. Major difference. This to me feels much more, well, heavier. It feels a little bit more stable in some ways. It's not quite as darty. And if you love small little cars, you may love that kind of darty aspect of the GTI. This car feels much more planted on the highway than the GTI. It's that longer wheelbase. I think it's the extra weight. It's the extra length. It just feels a little bit more like a happy highway car. Yeah, I think we can agree on one thing though. The 
power plant in both of these is phenomenal. I love it. And the thing is, is that these are nice. The, the throws aren't too long. They're, they're, you really know when they're engaged. And ergonomically, these are about as good as it gets, right? It's everything that you want and nothing that you don't want. Right. Everything where you want it to be, it's just pretty much perfect. Now, there are major differences between these cars and it's back here. And that's because this is a hatchback and the Jetta, well, it's a sedan, it has a trunk. So, wanted to show you the differences here. And because of that, we brought back Jeff with a G. That's right. Now, this is interesting because this has 22.8 cubic feet of cargo space behind this seat, right? But watch this. Come on, Jeff. I'm not a big fan of Jeff, by the way, because he doesn't really like the type of rock and roll I like. He's an angry bear, and he doesn't deserve this nice trunk. Look at that. That's 14.1 cubic feet of space, but look how deep it is. There, we could put Jeff back in there and forget about him. So even though that has more space on paper, that is some usable trunk space. There are two very important differences between these two cars when it comes to where the rubber meets the road and wheelbase. That's because the Jetta actually has a wheelbase that's two inches longer. Now, tires, they're different. You can get Potenzas on here from Bridgestone and they are 225, 40 R18s, 18 inch wheels. Ah, but over here you get the Hankook Ventus, which are 225 45 18s. So the Volkswagen GTI has lower profile tires, and these are different tires altogether. As my father used to say, just tighten your brassiere and deal with it. He wouldn't say that to me because I'd be a little weird. the same. Yeah, I burnt a little bit of rubber there. Yeah, you, yeah, I was watching a cloud of smoke as you were driving. <laughs> I, you know, the thing is, is that when you shut traction control off, it's really off. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's no... I was trying the opposite approach. I was trying to, you know, finesse it so that I could get traction and acceleration. What is this word finesse that you say? It doesn't work. It doesn't work on me. <laughs> the GTI is just a much nicer place to be. There's no sense of cost cutting in here. Maybe that accounts for the price difference. First of all, I've got a much bigger and a much more modern infotainment display. I also have this classic GTI, and I think really nice to the touch, golf ball style shifter. I have a manual handbrake the way God intended, and perhaps most importantly, leather seats all around, and electric leather seats to move into the most comfortable sitting position of any hot hatch that I know of. I think that when you're right, the GTI, just a better place to be. Just a better place well, to be. A sunroof to start with. Well, yeah, I, I don't even need a sunroof. Hell, I don't have hair. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I could drive this car all day this way and just be absolutely in love. Yeah, they're both in their own right, some of the best of the breed, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Much more fun? Oh, way more fun. It, it really is a very different car. Yeah, they have the same engine and transmission. You know, the transmissions were both built in Germany. Yes. Yeah. You're right, this one does sound better. It's more nimble. Uh, it's just, you know, it's like, this is the car you want when you're, let's say, 16. Mm -hmm. That's the car you have to buy when you're... Yeah, when, when you're an adult. With the exception of the fact that I am mentally 16 all the time, so I would still buy this. Inside the Jetta, it's just not as nice. You have a much smaller display here. You don't have that golf ball shifter. You have an electronic brake, which some may consider better, but I hate. You also have cloth seats, and of course you have manual, not electric, adjusting seats. Now, you can get the same interior if this were the Autobahn edition that the 
Volkswagen GTI has. This is the 35th anniversary edition. And if it were apples to apples, then this Jetta would still be $6,800 cheaper, even with all the nicer bits and pieces that that GTI has. As always, I'm sitting behind myself in the Jetta. I'm 6'2", so I'm pretty tall. Plenty of knee room, questionable headroom, but how much room do I have in the GTI? All right, GTI time. Oh my. Yeah. Uh, ironically, I have more headroom, but almost zero knee and foot room. Go figure. All right, Nathan, of course, which one would you buy? Before you answer though, let me lay some more facts on you. Both of these German cars are made in Mexico. Now both have almost identical fuel economy, but the Jetta does one better. It's 28 combined versus 27 combined for the Golf. And guess which one sells better? The Jetta. Yes, it's, yes. it's cheaper. So knowing all that, which would you buy? The GTI. It, it's it's so much fun. I like hatchbacks. I've always liked hatchbacks. I think it looks a little bit better and the interior is just better put together. Not me, dude. Really? You know what I get? What? Golf R. <laughs> As always, this is Roman and Nathan saying thanks for watching and check out TFLcar.com for more news, views, and of course, real world reviews. And go back to our website for, well, you know what. <laughs> Happy to sing.